the sources of vitamins that we have available for our poultry. I said vitamins are required in small quantities. They are organic substances that contain carbon. And vitamins, you can get them as synthetic. Vitam all vitamins are going to be found in the market as synthetic in a product that we call the premix. That is vitamins that have already been mixed. So when you buy a premix, a packet of premix, that means that all the vitamins have been mixed together. But instead of buying the synthetic, you can, f you can give your birds vitamins by providing what is available locally. Vitamin A, I said that is good for vision of your bird. You can get it in green matter. So anything that has chlorophyll, anything that contains chlorophyll will be able to give vitamin A. So this includes the sukuma wiki that we have or the kale, the spinach, the cabbage, grass. There are some also some fodder that is given to the cows and the birds feed on it very well. As long as the product contains chlorophyll, it's a good source of vitamin A. Vitamin D. It is available in the synthetic manner, matter, but you can use it, you can't just get it from the sunshine. Let your bird have a way of basking on the sun. So that's why we say that provide light and especially sunshine for your bird, not light but sunshine. From the sunshine, the birds are going to convert the, the layers of the sun into vitamin D and that is all you require. Other sources of vitamin, vitamin K. Vitamin K is also essential for body fruits and it's available in fish oils. Or even from the skin of the snake. I do not want to tell you to feed your birds on the snake, but those birds that are able to scavenge, they eat the snakes and this is a very good source of vitamin K. Fish oil, you can, you can let, when, you beat, when your birds feed on omena that has not been very dried, they will be able to get vitamin K, although you can still get it in synthetic way. But it is available in these. The, the B vitamins, the B complex, vitamin Bs, they are also available in the green vegetables, but also if you can be able to give your bad fruits, if you mix some fruit juice and add into the water the birds are going to drink, that's a very good source of the B vitamins. Most of the fruits that we have locally, if you make a juice and then dilute it under water that the birds do not find it very sweet, they will be able to get the B complexes, the vitamin B complex. So basically, the vitamins can be bought as synthetic, but also can also be found in what we have in our surrounding. So see what you have and whether you really need to buy a premix. I said basically why we are doing poultry farming, we are doing it for economic purposes. So look at what you can, you can substitute and just give your birds this and don't need to buy the premix. The minerals. Minerals and like the vitamins are, also, are inorganic products. 
that contain that do not contain carbon do not contain carbon minerals are inorganic compounds that do not contain carbon so i say the most important mineral that we need in the body of the bird is calcium and calcium is required for the formation of the skeletal muscles calcium is required for the formation of the eggshell calcium is only found mostly from the limestone we are able to get more of the calcium from the limestone which comes as calcium carbonate this is a sort that is that is formed from mixing the element calcium and carbonate and hydrocarbon to form a salt called calcium carbonate but i need to we need to know how we ca how we can measure the amount of calcium that is available in this salt that we have bought so from my chemistry if i remember my chemistry the atomic mass of calcium is 40 the atomic mass of calcium of of carbon is 12 and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 by 3 this is how you calculate the amount of calcium uh, that you are finding in a, in a, in a, in, a, in, in calcium carbonate so that means that atomic mass of this product that called calcium carbonate is 40 plus 12 plus 48 so this is equal to 100, isn't it? So if you want to see the amount of calcium that you have, you normally do 40 divided by 100 times 100. You want to see how much calcium is available in a sort of calcium. So you have only 40%. So every time you buy limestone as calcium carbonate, the only calcium that you have in that whole sort is just 40%. When I told you about how to calculate the amount of calcium, so you should look at whenever you, whatever product you have bought, it, its composition and be able to calculate how much. So whenever you, in the limestone, calcium is only 40%. The rest is just the carbon and the oxygen. Now, we said you can obtain calcium from limestone. We can also find calcium in another product called the DCP or the dicalcium phosphate. So this one is whereby both calcium and phosphorus have been mixed to form a product calcium phosphate. This is a, whenever there, there's a two calcium there is one phosphorus so in pottery you should be able to see that every time if you if you are putting three kgs of if you are putting three kgs of dcp it means that the amount of calcium that you have put is two over three times three so in that you have put two kgs and phosphorus is just one kg that's how you calculate the amount of calcium that you have in a, di in a dicalcium phosphate. Because these are already, already mixed calcium phosphate. We also have available availability of calcium from another product called the mono calcium phosphate. So in this is whereby we have one calcium available for every two parts of phosphorus. So if you are doing 3 kgs of monocassium phosphate, it means that you have, if you are putting 3 kgs of this product, it means that you have put 1 over 3 times 3. So in that case, you have put just 1 kg of, of calcium. So now this one, this kind of compounds, 
you need to, to check what you are looking for. Are you looking for calcium? Are you looking for phosphate? That you can be able to know how much to put in any of the two. Mostly calcium phosphate, we don't use it because we are, in many cases we are looking to get calcium. Calcium, apart from being available in these two, can also be available in the eggshell. The eggshell is a full calcium. But it should be limited by the way we feed our, 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 our birds. If you, find, if, you, if you get many shells and crush them to smooth levels and mix it in your feed, you have put enough calcium to your feed. So the eggshells is also another source of calcium which is free. So all those broken eggs from your farm, dry them up, crush them to an extent that the birds are not able to tell that those are eggshells because if they find that you have been feeding them with eggshells, they else, I told you that the bird has a brain. So if they find that you're feeding it with eggshells, going to eat the eggs. So ensure that you dry the shell, crush it and the, that in such a way that the bird is not going to recognize that you had given it the eggshells. It's also, the calcium is also available in calcium grits that are sold in the market. So calcium can be available in many ways. And the shell is a full calcium. The calcium grit is also a full calcium, just a grit that has been gotten from the ground and just full of calcium. So calcium is available in so many factors and you, can, you don't need to just buy, you can just use limestone or use the eggshell depending on what level you are in. And note, if you find that sometimes farmers feed a lot of calcium to their birds and a lot of calcium is now deposited on the egg. If you find your eggs has some kind of pimples surrounding it, it means that you are overfeeding the amount of calcium to the bird. So reduce the calcium levels until you find the eggshell smooth. The eggshell is supposed to be a smooth shell. So once the smoothness goes back, that the level that you should maintain for your calcium. So it's very careful that you visit the farm and don't be a telephone farmer. Visit the farm, see what is happening, look at those eggs, and you can determine whether you're doing right or wrong. The other, t the other mineral that we have that is important in, in pottery is the manganese. Manga. Manganese is also available as, as in, it's available as manganese oxide, manganese sulfate, and normally we, f we feed it. It's, it will be available in the, in the premix that we buy. Normally one of the carriers of the premix that we buy is the manganese. You'll find manganese as manganese sulfate, and manganese oxide. Those two, but mostly your bird is not going to suffer from any deficiency of manganese because most of the carriers that make the premix are manganese. So these are, these are a deficient that you're not likely to get. The other mineral that we use in poultry is copper, and iron. These two are very related in all the animals that we talk about. If you go to the cow, they are very important. If you go to the bird, they are very important. The main reason is that they are coagulating factors. Coagulating. Copper and iron, they are good because they help to c for the help in the clotting of the blood. Uh, they, pr they present themselves against bleeding. So if your blood is suffering from copper and iron deficiency, they will be what we call the hemorrhagic.
effect. So if you cut the beak of the bird or your bird is injured somewhere, the blood is not able to clot. These are, these are available on the soil. The soil that we have contains a very big percentage of copper and a very big percentage of iron. So basically, if you're, if you're keeping your bars on a depleter system, you need not actually supplement copper and iron. Also, these two ions are available in the premix that we buy. And also, iron will be available from the plants that we grow. They grow in the soil. The soil contains about 80% iron. So once the, the plant has grown, is going to provide your birds with iron. So if you're supplementing your vitamins with greens, they come about bringing the mineral called copper and iron because they are available on the soil. But if you're intensively keeping your birds, it's very important that you supplement your birds on copper and iron that's from the premises that we buy from the market.